Buds and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm obviously in the kitchen because I'm going to be making Halloween cookies. My cousin's birthday is coming up in a few weeks so I thought it would be fun to make her some Halloween themed cookies since Halloween is coming up very soon. And I'm also going to be making her some birthday themed cookies. As you guys probably already know I absolutely love to bake and I have this really good shortbread cookie recipe right here that I'm going to be using. So I hope that you all enjoy the video and let's get started. Okay so I have all my ingredients right here. This is like the simplest cookie recipe I've ever made. The only ingredients are butter, vanilla, sugar, salt, and flour. There's not even egg in this recipe. So I'm going to measure out everything that I need and then I'll come back and we'll start to make the dough. So now that I have all my ingredients measured out, I can actually start to make the dough. This butter is super, super soft. It's been out for a few hours because this recipe says that your butter needs to be completely room temperature and very soft. So I put the butter in here and then the vanilla, the salt, and the powdered sugar. And I'm gonna put this dish towel over the bowl so the powdered sugar doesn't go everywhere. I'm gonna be on a low speed. Okay, I'm gonna scrape down the bowl. This recipe has three and three quarters cup of flour. That's almost four cups of flour, which is crazy. I'm gonna cover it with this towel again so it doesn't go everywhere. It's still gone everywhere. Okay, so now I'm gonna put down some powdered sugar so then I can put the dough on here and make it into like a little ball so it doesn't stick. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't even know if you're supposed to do this, but I, of course, just wash my hands. I wash my hands constantly when I'm baking, especially when I'm baking for other people. So we're gonna get some parchment paper, put the ball of dough right there. And then the dough is supposed to chill in the fridge until it's firm. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Okay, and that's all I'm gonna do today for the cookies because I don't even have the Halloween cookie cutters yet because I ordered them on Amazon and they're coming, I think, tomorrow. So I'll, I'll bake the cookies tomorrow and then I'll decorate them later this week. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day now and I'm ready to roll out the dough, cut the cookies and put them in the oven. So I have my dough right here and I have all my cookie cutters right there. I already preheated my oven to 375 degrees. I'm gonna unwrap this. Put some powdered sugar so it doesn't stick when I roll it out. Again, I don't even know if I'm supposed to do this, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay, this is really hard. <laughs> it's still really firm since it's in the fridge. Okay, well that took a while and now my arms hurt. <laughs> that was very difficult. But now I just have to cut all the shapes. So I got this cupcake cookie cutter and this butterfly cookie cutter at my local baking store. And then I got all these Halloween cookie cutters from Amazon and I washed them and now they're ready to go. And now I'm just gonna transfer them to the baking sheets. Okay, so this tray is full, so I'm gonna put it in the oven now. It says bake them for 15 to 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna be safe and do 11 minutes. <laughs> I'm always so paranoid about burning stuff in the oven, so. <laughs> and I'm gonna put all this back into a ball and then make some more cupcakes and butterflies. Okay, so now this tray is full. The timer's going off, so let's see if the cookies are done. Okay, yeah, they actually are definitely done. They even seem a little burnt, like especially around the edges, so that's unfortunate. It smells a little burnt too, so good to know. <laughs> so the next time I cut these and put them in the oven, I'm gonna put them in for a shorter amount of time. Oh, and I just put the other ones in the oven. Okay, these look good. So now I'm gonna take the dough out of the fridge and then cut more Halloween cookies. I'm gonna set it for nine minutes this time. Hopefully they don't burn again. So now I'm just waiting for the cookies to come out of the oven and then that's all I'm gonna do today for the cookies. And then I'm gonna decorate them in a day or two. So I'll see you then. Okay, it's a few days later now. So I'm about to make some royal icing. I have all my ingredients right here. This recipe is so simple. All it is is powdered sugar, water, and dried egg whites. So I'm gonna make the royal icing and then I'm gonna color it and then I can start decorating. Thank you. 
Okay, so I have my stiff royal icing now. So now I'm gonna take some out and color it. And then when I color the stiff royal icing, I'm gonna add some more water to make it medium and thin as well. So I have lots of different consistencies. Now I have my medium icing, so I'm gonna put it into a bunch of bowls and then color a bunch of different colors. I actually took a cookie decorating class a few weeks ago and the instructor told me that if you see this little curl at the top of the icing, that means that it's the medium consistency. So that's how you know. And now that I have my medium icing for the black and orange, I can add more water to this to make it thin. And I have a lot of colors that I wanna mix in with the thin icing. You also want to make sure you keep the royal icing covered because it dries up really quickly. Okay, now that I have all my colors mixed, I can clean up this workspace because it's a mess and then I can start decorating finally. Okay, my little setup now, I have all my cookies and all my colors. And this little note sheet just tells me like what colors need to go on which cookies. So the last thing for me to do now before I actually start to decorate is to make a little parchment paper piping bags. So in my cookie decorating class, we learned how to make these little piping bags out of parchment paper. It's really easy and they come really in handy. So I made all of my little parchment paper piping bags. And now I have everything set up here. I have some sprinkles, some rainbow sprinkles, green sprinkles, and then orange and black sprinkles. So once I fill the piping bags with all the colors, I can start to decorate life goes so fast i've been living so slow let's just leave do whatever we want to i don't want no regret or any days Okay, so it's almost 5 p.m. I've been working on these since 11 a.m. and they are finally done. So I still have to clean up this workstation. I think they look pretty good. It took a long time, but it was worth it. Okay, so after multiple days and a lot of hours making and decorating these cookies, I am finally done. I think they turned out pretty good. Obviously, they don't look like a professional made them or anything, but I am pretty proud of them. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. I really, really hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Also, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all my subscribers who watch my videos, like them, comment on them. I really appreciate it. So thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.